And the interesting thing about TruePak X is the chemicals that are in it, you're gonna wanna be tempted to put more water in, but the TruePak X wets out. Hi, my name is Nathan Giffen from Vertical Artisans. For almost a decade now, I have been teaching contractors how to sculpt vertical decorative concrete. These creations have all been rewarding and successful, whether it was an expo, a public class, or a private consultation. There has been a common denominator in the success of all of these, and that would be Walt Tools carving mix called True Pack X. This brilliant mix design has solved many problems for the decorative concrete contractor and continues to be the industry leader in its class and the preferred mix design used by vertical artisans. This stainable and durable mix reaches 5,500 PSI and can be applied from a quarter inch to three inches for a variety of applications and textures. <laughs> It's, it's, it's got kind of like a gelatinous, you know, see the gelatinous movement of it? What happens is you can have a really nice mix, and then five minutes later, it's tight, because it didn't finish fully hydrating out, right? This is, you know, that's real good. It's, it's thoroughly mixed. Let's break this down. True Pack X comes in a small bag, approximately 20 pounds, and is mixed one to one with an 80 pound bag of type S mortar. Not an 80 pound bag of Portland cement, but an 80 pound bag of type S mortar. This one to one combination creates 100 pounds of a carvable vertical concrete used by professionals all across America. mixing. Clean water, large container, and a paddle mixer. Step one, for mixing one bag at a time, put one and a half gallons of clean water in your mixing tub. Step two, add about a half a bag of the mortar and then the bag of True Pack X. Mix with your mixer until the slurry is thoroughly mixed, then add the remaining mortar to the mix. By far the paddle mixer I love to use is the Column Mix Dually. It is the best mixer for the job. Now the True Pack X, when you're mixing it, it needs to wet out and hydrate fully too. And the interesting thing about True Pack X is the chemicals that are in it, you're gonna wanna be tempted to put more water in, but the True Pack X wets out. All right, the chemicals have, there's a water reducer in there and it wets out. So it takes water to activate it, but if you put too much water in there, you're gonna be soupy, and that's what you can't have. Soupy mixes add to the uh, wind cracking, the stress cracking, it weakens the mix, and if it's a windy day and a hot sunny day, you'll have more you know, shattering taking place, which just means more correction. So, you wanna pretty much stick to the recipe, we'll follow it, we'll get our doses properly, and then we'll mix it. Mix for three minutes. The mix will appear to be too dry, but do not add more water. By doing this, you keep all the chemicals from sticking to the sides of the tub and ensure that all the chemicals are mixed in with the mortar. Continue to mix it until it wets out, and it will become much better. 
After several minutes, if you need to add more water, you can achieve it to the desired consistency. But you should only be adding small amounts at this time. Also, take special note of how much water you add and that whatever you've added to the load, be sure to add it to your water count for the next batch. Example, when you start mixing one and a half gallons but you add a quart, next time just add 1.75 gallons or one gallon and three quarts. After three minutes of mixing, see if your consistency is the same. You should only have to adjust the mix with just ounces for any corrections. Uh, I don't know because we do this so much that we kind of eyeball it. So. The number one problem with bad mixes is the guy in charge of mixing just eyeballs the amount of water and starts mixing. And then he tries to correct the problems created by adding more mortar. This always leads to inconsistent mixes and results in mud sliding off the walls or not sticking because it's too dry, which leads to your precious time being wasted and costing you more money. Don't worry, release that worker back into the workforce and find a worker that will do the job properly. If you don't, countless hours will be wasted each job you do simply because someone was not willing to follow simple mixing instructions. Tips for success. Don't eyeball your water amounts. Use proper measuring. Stay consistent and mix for the full three minutes. The same applies for larger multiple loads. There is no false set. Just multiply your water out over the number of loads you are mixing. Some may think there is only because they didn't mix for the full three minutes. And the sand, cement, and chemicals are not fully hydrated. This may give the appearance of a false set. Follow the instructions previously mentioned for an excellent vertical mix. TruePack X offers superior performance for the vertical decorative concrete contractor at a price point that keeps more money in your pocket. For more information, go to walttools.com and for more training, go to verticalartisans.com.